Good day everyone, the topic that is assigned to our group is the breeding of insect resistance. Insects can cause loss of yield, it's either direct losses or indirect losses. Direct losses are the insects that eat plant parts like leaves or stems. The indirect losses are the insects can be a vector of diseases. Some may lead to reduction in plant growth, damage to vegetation, premature defoliation, and wilting of plants. There are important methods of insect control like biological control, um, cultural control, physical control, and chemical control. In biological control, it uses natural enemies. Natural enemies can help to kill insect pests, decrease their productive potential, or the number of another organism reduces. Cultural control is a method that involves farming or gardening practices to reduce or avoid pests. The examples of cultural control are the are the crop rotation, sanitation, and crop cropping. Crop rotation is replacing a crop that is um, susceptible to a serious pest with another crop that is not susceptible on a rotating basis. Crop rotation is best in larger areas. Sanitation is keeping the area clean and the materials or tools that has been used, it should be kept clean too. Crop cropping is a method of placing a plant near to a other crop to be protected. The insects get attracted to the trap crop which will destroy. Example is the, the pickle worms will concentrate in squash planted near cucumbers since squash, squash is a decoy so the squash will destroy and eaten by insects instead of cucumber. And the third control is the physical control. These methods will keep insects, insect pests to not reach their host. As you've seen in the picture, there is insect trap act as a barrier. Various types of traps can be used for monitoring and controlling the pests such as blueboards. Other control includes plant cover so that the plants or crops keep healthy and using of pheromones in plastic bottles. And the last control is the chemical control. Using of chemical to kill pests, just use chemical majority since it can affect non-target organisms and even who is applying of chemical will be exposed that can be skin contact, inge ingestion, or inhalation. Mechanism of insect resistance Non-preference Host plants that express non-preference affect the way an insect pest perceives the desirability of the host plant. Non-preference plants either provide stimuli that are unattractive to the pest or fail to provide stimuli that are attractive to the pest. Non-preference plants keeps away insect pests from damaging them if they provided stimuli that can be unattractive to the pest. Antibiosis Antibiosis is a type of resistance in which the host plant causes injury, death, reduced longevity, or reduced reproduction of the pest. Often both a resistant and susceptible variety will have the same basic response to a pest. Tolerance Host plants that express tolerance are resistant to pest damage because they can remain healthy and yield well despite the damage. These plants must also be able to heal wounds and fight diseases that enter through wounds. Avoidance Avoidance refers to escape of a variety from insect attack, either due to earliness or its cultivation in the season, where insect population is very low. Plants here tend to have early maturity compared to other plants or other varieties of plants. So I'm going to discuss the basis of insect resistance in plant breeding. So these are the basis of plant resistance in plant
plant breeding. So, the morphological, physiological, and the biochemical features of the host plant. So, in morphological, this is the ability of the plant to develop its own defense mechanism against the pest. So, yun nga, kaya niyang depend sa yung sarili niya against dun sa pang pest gamit yung yung sa growth habit, mga ganun, something like that. So, according to Stain, plants must assume the forms that allow certain metabolic function to take place including the photosynthesis and order the growth. Tapos, ano din daw, sinasabi din daw dun na meron daw mga plant naman na naka nakapag-adapt na dun sa mga areas tapos nagkaroon na rin ng partial resistance against dun sa ano, insect predation. So, yung ano, na yun, may adaptation na categories dun dito sa morphological part. So, ito yun. So, the color, first is the color, yung ibang plant na nakapag-develop, ano, parang yun yung gusto nilang color kasi para maiwasan nila yung insect attack dahil meron mga insect na parang unattractive, unattractive dun sa mga color na yun. Tapos, anatomical adaptation, ito yung mga plant na parang nag, nakapag-build ng resistance dahil dun sila na itanim tapos or sila yung ano din pwede rin yung mataas yung adaptability nila dun sa kahit sa ang lugar tapos yung hairness is yung development of hairs or trichomes dun sa flesh ng mga plants para maiwasan yung damage na direct dun sa mismong pinaka ano flesh na yan so yung surface waxes so these are the waxes in the leaves that can protect the plant against the insect attack tapos yung shape naman is the ability of the plant to grow in a very unusual state na ano, parang unusual dun sa mga insect para kainin parang ganun. sa thickness of cell wall and rapid growth so ito yung ability ng plants to escape the insect predation dahil nga dun sa ano insect pest um feeding dun sa mga plant dahil syempre may possibility na matigas yung yung tissue nya so nahirapan kayo nahirapan yung mga insect na kayo nya parang ganun tas makakapag grow sya ng mabilis din so sa physiological ito yung yung solute concentration of sap exudate that allow the plant to continue living even if it is damaged by the pest. So, ito yung examples. First is the secretion of gummy exudates of some solanum spe- species which traps aphids and colorado beetle. Second is the antibiotic effect of the exudates from secondary trichomes of medicago discoformis that affects alpha alfalfa weevil and yung last is yung high osmotic concentration of sap in cotton which is associated with just seed resistance so yung last na, fa- na basis sa ano dun sa biochemical so ito yung biochemical naman so this is the plant production of chemical to defend themselves to the pest that eats them so according nga dun kay Rob the chemicals that are present to these plants are harmful to the pest that tries to attack or eat a part of it. So, yung examples is yung ito, resistance to several pests in cotton through the high concentration of gossipals. Tapos, eh, yung high silica content in shoots of, in shoots of the rice gives that gives them the resistance against shoot borers and yung last is yung Vensi alcohol that resists green bugs in wheat and barley. Genetics of Insect Resistance According to Wang, 2018, genes encoding proteinase inhibitors, phytolectin, amylase inhibitors, and chitinase are of plant origin, being part of the natural defenses developed by plants to counter insect attack. And we all know that Plant protease inhibitors are natural plant defense proteins that inhibit proteases of invading insect herbivores. And however, 
their attack or their anti-insect efficacy is determined not only by their potency toward a vulnerable insect system but also by the response of the insect to such a challenge. And also, phytolectin comes from lectin. Lectin domains involved in plant immunity, meaning um, this lectin can help the plant have the immunity against the insect pest. And also, the lectin are proteins that contain at least one non-catalytic domain which enables them to selectively recognize and bind in a visible way to specific glycans that are either present in a free from or are part of the glycoproteins and glycolipids. And lectins are really can help the plants to have a resistance to the insect or other diseases because it can develop or can increase or it can help the plant immunity. And amylase inhibitors are also called starch blockers and it prevents starches from being absorbed by the body. When amylase is blocked, those carbs pass through the body and digested so you don't absorb the calories. So if the insect pest um, absorb the, the amylase inhibitors or you pass through the body of the insect, it means that the insect don't absorb the calories and we all know that calories are the needs just to operate and keep our hearts beating and our lungs breathing so we all know that insect has that kind of organs and chitinase are enzymes that degrade chitin we all know that chitin is a major component of the skeleton and the peritrophic matrix of insects and chitin is a major component of the insect cuticle or the skin so this chitinase can block or these enzymes or it can degrade chitin meaning degrade na napapahina niya or napapalambot niya or something na wawaba yung quality then the second slide insect resistance is governed by oligogenes oligogenes and cytoplasmic genes then what is oligogenic resistance oligogenic resistance is an insect resistance it's governed by one or few major genes or oligogenes each gene having a large and identifiable individual effect on resistance and also oligogenic resistance may be conditioned by the dominant or the recessive allele of the concerned gene Alam naman po natin na pag sinabing oligogenes, one or isa lang. And also, the next one is the difference between resistant and susceptible plants are generally large and clear cut. In several cases, resistance is governed by a single gene or monogenic resistance. For example, in wet or in wheat, to green bugs and in cotton to just seeds in apple to woolly aphids and rice to plants and leaf hopper so ang oligenic resistance ay nagko-focus sa isang major genes or mas marami pero a few major genes ng isang oligogenes and next is the polygenic resistance it is governed by several genes, unlike the oligogenic resistance governed by one or few major, major genes. This one, poly, means marame. Oligogenic resistance is governed by several genes, and each gene producing a small and useful cumulative effect. And such cases of resistance involve more than one feature of the host plant and in alfalfa and are much more durable than the case of oligogenic resistance and difference between resistance and susceptible plants are not clear cut unlike the oligogenic ang oligogenic are clear cut 
and it can transfer of resistance is much more difficult because poly joint polygenic resistance has more as many genes so transferring of resistance is much more difficult than the oligogenic then the next one is the cytoplasmatic or cytoplasmic resistance and this one governed by plasma genes on what is plasma genes plasma genes itself is a self replicating hereditary structure once thought to exist in cytoplasm and function in a manner analogous to but independent of chromosomal genes so ang plasma ang site ang plasma genes daw ay a self replicating hereditary structure ng cytoplasmic resistance for example resistance to european corn borer in maize and resistance to root aphid in lettuce meaning in cytoplasmic resistance it can ha- in self replicate na inherit nila yung yung resistance yung genes na mayroong resistance or yung genes na dadala ng resistance from generation to generation like yung resistance ng corn borer sa Europe na we all know na it can Sources of insect resistance in plant breeding Cultivated varieties Resistance to many insect pests may be found among cultivated varieties of the concerned crop for example is Cusipium hirsutum Germplasm collection Collection of plants or seeds having diverse alleles of all the genes of a crop. It is an example of exceed conservation of biodiversity. What is ex situ conservation? This is the most practical method of germplasm conservation. By this method, it is possible to preserve the entire genetic diversity of a crop species at one place. Another example of insect resistance is wild species. And an example of resistance is the both species of potato nematodes has been transferred from Solanum vernae to potato. Solanum vernae is an example of wild species of potato. Mutation in microorganisms. It is done through recombinant DNA technology. The cry gene of Bacillus thuringiensis is the most successful example. And the next one is the durable resistance. In conventional models for the durability of resistant cultivars focus on dynamics of the frequency of resistance. Genes this leads to a definition of the durability of resistance as the time from introduction of the cultivar to the time when the frequency of the virulence genes reaches a present threshold. In this time, durable means the steady or yung tibay. And durability means that on how to withstand. So, in durability, or durable resistance na sinusukat dito kung gaano tatagal si resistance so sabi nga dito in conventional models na ang durability resistant cultivars daw ay nagfo-focus sa dynamics ng frequency ng isang resistance genes na nagtutulak sa definition ng durability ng isang resistance na kung saan yung time from introduction of the cultivar to the time when the frequency of the virulence genes reaches a present threshold and according to post 2003 there are simple epidemiological model to link population dynamics and population genetics to compare three measures of durability so what are those three first is the invasion the invasion the de invasion are the expected time until invasion of the virulent genotype by mutation or immigration and subsequent establishment of a population the next one is the T or take over. The virulence frequency related measure of the time 
for the virulent genotype to take over the pathogen population. First is what is virulent? Virulence we, we all know that defined as the relative ability of a microorganism to overcome host defenses or the degree of pathogenicity within a group or species. So that's the meaning of virulence. And the third one is the additional. The additional yield measured by the additional number of uninfected host growth days. These are the three um, epi epidemiological model na sinasabi ni Bosch na nagsasabi na yung measures ng durability ng sang resistance. The next one is the it refers durability resistance refers to long lasting resistance and the durability resistance depends mainly on four factors formation of new races or biotype genetics of resistance morphological features of the host plant and biochemical substance associated with resistance these four are the um, factor that can um, de depends the durability of the resistance again durability of resistance are the ang durability resistance ito yung nagpapakita or nagsabi kung gaano tatagal si resistance ng isang halaman at ito yung mga factor na dumidepende kung gaano pa talaga tatagal si resistance ito ngayon formation of a new races Siyempre, pag nag-formation of the new races ka or biotype, hindi natin masasabi kung madedegrade ba yung genetically, genetic resistance niya. And in genetic resistance, kung mas dominant pa ba ito compared to the, for example, meron si mother plant ay merong resistance and then si father plant, kaunti lang resistance, tapos nag-dominant itong si, si mahina ang resistance, which is si father compared to the mother and the morphological features of the host plant and biochemical substances associated with resistance. Breeding methods for insect resistance The methods of breeding for disease resistance is essentially the same as those for other agronomic characters. The following breeding methods have commonly used. First, introduction. Second, selection. Third, mutation. Fourth, hybridization. 5th, semaclonal variation, and 6th, genetic engineering. Introduction This is easy and rapid method of developing disease-resistant variety. The resistant variety may be introduced and after testing, if found suitable, can be released in the disease-prone area. As an example, in 1860, the grape crop in France was completely destroyed by the attack of Phylocera vertifolia. The introduction of persistent root stocks to this pest from USA saved the grape crop from extinction runs. Selection When the source of persistence is a cultivated variety, mass selection and pure land selection in self-pollinated crops, mass and recurrent selection in cross-pollinated species, and clonal selection in the vegetatively propagated crops will be ideal for isolating disease-resistant plants. The resistant plants may, may be multiplied, screened for disease resistance, and release a variety. Hybridization Hybridization is used when resistance genes are available either in the germplasm or in wild species of crop plants. After hybridization, the hybrid material is handled either by pedigree method or by backcross method. The pedigree method is used when the resistance is governed by polygene and the resistant variety is an adapted one which also contributes some desirable agronomic traits. While the backcross method is used when resistance to go to govern by oligogenes. Mutation we have already considered briefly the usefulness of spontaneous as well as induced. Somaclonal variation. Disease resistant somaclonal variants may be obtained in the following two ways. First, plants regenerated from cultured cell or their progeny are subjected to disease tests and resistant plants are isolated. 
Second, cultured cells are selected. Four, resistant to the toxin. Our cultured filtrate produced by the pathogen and plants are regenerated from the selected cells. In most cases, these plants are also resistant to the disease in question. Cell selection strategy is most likely to be successful in cases where the toxins are involved in disease development. Last, genetic engineering. Genes expected to convert disease resistance are isolated, cloned and transferred into the crop in question. In case of viral pathogens, several transgenes have been evaluated. This virus coat protein gene, DNA copy of viral saturated RNA, defective viral genome, antisense construct of critical viral genes, and ribozymes. Viral coat protein genes approach seems to be the most successful. A virus transgenic variety of, of squash is in commercial cultivation in USA. The next one is field screening. Field screening, ito po yung nag, um, nag-distinguish or technique or strategies on how to observe the pest and the insects or the host plant. According to the, to the sources and to the reference that Sir got uploaded or got sent to us, under under the field screening or interplanting, we all know that interplanting is a plant or crop plant together with another crop. So, dito mas madali kasi natin mga observe gawa at mas tikit tikit sa interplanting. So, may screen natin yung insect and the plant na then kung persistent pa siya sa insect na yun. Kasi nga magkakadikit talaga, mas prone talaga siya like in highly prone areas number 2, in highly prone areas kung ito pang planta to is maraming insecto dito na pest, and then itatanim pa natin doon, mas may screen natin kung gano ba talaga tatagal yung durability yung durability, yung durable resistance ng isang halaman, and yung resistance yung insect resistance itself and also in a particular season and transferring of eggs or larvae manually to each glass plant and glass house screening in glass house screening it is more reliable than field screening why because in glass house screening alam naman natin na mas mas compact or mas close siya so mas ma-observe natin na mas maayos unlike sa field screening na open to entry kumbaga mas nakakapag-entry pa na mas nakakapag-entry yung mga insect test natin unlike sa glass house screening mas close siya and mas ma-observe natin yung ating alamat and the uh, insect pest kung ito bang sa alaman makita din natin kasi yung kasi nga glass house screening siya meaning to say na mas ma-observe natin siya actually Problems in breeding for insect resistance First, it is a long-term process which takes 10 to 15 years to develop agronomically accepted variety even when the source of resistance are readily available. Second, in some cases, breeding for resistance to one pest leads to the susceptibility to another pest. This is because the host plant feature associated with resistance to one pest is associated with susceptibility to the another pest. As an example, Hairiness in cotton is associated with hassid resistance but confers susceptibility to white fly and ball worms. Third, in many cases, genes for disease and insect resistance are available only in the related wild species. Interspecific genes transfer possess many problems. Moreover, resistance genes are associated with sub and desirable characters. It takes a long time to disregard undesirable genes in the breeding program. Fourth, breeding for disease and insect resistance is an expensive method which requires adequate financing for a long period being a long-term process. Often lack of funds leads to the interruption of such valuable programs. Fifth, in some cases, the resistant variety has lower yield and poor quality. Achievement in different crops Here, we will talk about the uh, different uh, resistant crop created 
different crops which is resistant to some insect pest the first variety is rice the higher variety which is resistant to leaf hopper ratna and cowberry variety which is resistant to stem borer Van Bram, Chaitanya, Pratiba, which is resistant to BPH or brown plant hopper. Sureka, Kakatiya, which is resistant to gall midge. Now, Sorghum. SPB86 IS1054, resistant to shoot fly. SPB17, 19, and 29, resistant to stem bar ICSB197745 which is resistant to mage cotton B1007102 which is resistant to hasi MCU7 LH900 which is resistant to volworms kanchana and supriya which is resistant to white fly GM crops BT cotton which is resistant to fall worms and bt corn which is resistant to european corn borer